It, it was the 14th of October, 2011, and I was very excited. I was traveling far away from home for the first time in many years. It was an eight-hour flight that I planned to get on, going all the way to Singapore, and I had left no detail to spare. Everything was in my control, or so I thought. Hello, Toastmasters, guests. This is a story about how I struggled through the airport. I started planning for my trip in June when I first got a message from my friend saying, my brother is going to be in military camp and my parents are now going to be at home. So we have the whole of October for you to come and visit in Singapore. And I could not wait. I was so excited to go. So I immediately said yes. Went online, checked flights, check the weather pattern every single day for weather trends. I planned everything out. Booked my flight, found out my visa arrangements, got my travel insurance, even planned which socks I was going to wear for which day. Nothing was going to stop me. I was not going to forget anything else. Previously, I have personally forgot a few things when I would travel toothbrush, toothpaste. Once I occasionally forgot pajamas. This time, everything was going to be perfect. So, on October 13, I decided to work late. And I decided that I was just going to finish everything. Nothing is going to be pending at work. Nothing is going to come out as an emergency. I was going to go on my vacation without any phone calls from my manager saying, where is this document? Without any phone calls from my client asking me to help me <coughs> with something. So I stayed at work six hours extra. I finished at four, but I left at 10 that day. Of course, I've already packed a week before. so. Everything was perfect. I was okay with leaving that late. Then I, once I left work, my friends called me. Even though I was only going for two weeks, they were making a big fuss, saying, how can you be leaving us for two weeks? And so I had to go see them. That took about two hours. It was 12 o'clock by the time I got home. And then waiting for me at home were my parents. You're going to leave us for two weeks. How can you do that? You've known since June. So I had to sit a few more hours. By the time I crawled into bed, it was 3 a.m. I lined up everything perfectly, what I was going to wear for the airport. I put my suitcase right next to the door outside. I put my passport right next to the shelf by the entrance and other remaining documents. I had not left a detail to spare. I was very explicit on this planning. But then, suddenly, on the morning that I was traveling, my mom burst into the room. And I wake up and I said, I just went to sleep, mom. <coughs> Why are you in the room? She said, it's 7 o'clock. Your boarding starts at 7.30. And like I knew martial arts, I flipped out of bed, jumped into the shower. For the first time in, in, in world record, a girl has a shower for, 50, for five minutes. Ran outside with wet hair, grabbed my passport, grabbed my belt, grabbed anything that I could possibly wear in the car. I was wearing them in the car while my mom was driving me to the airport. We reached there at 7.40, which was not a bad time for boarding. I thought the worst was over. So I go to the counter, and
And as it's my turn, I hand the counter lady my passport and they print out a 